Hello friends, so today we are going to make the project solar pellet plate refrigerator. Using this project we are going to create a cold environment for the things you want to keep cold. So this is the solar panel we are going to use in our project. The output capacity of the solar panel is 18 volt. These are the heat sink we are going to use. So the two heat sink, one for the outer layer, uh, another for the inner layer. This is the paste. These are the two batteries. These are the chargeable battery. The work capacity of one battery is 2.5 ampere. So we have done the connection in parallel. These are the fans. These are four fans, CPU fans we are using uh, to dissipate the heat and the cold environment. Three fans we will use on the uh, outer side of the battery plates to dissipate the heat in the environment and one inside. This is the uh, insulation tape we are using. This is the steel wool. This is the steel wool we are going to use for the insulation. This is the toggle switch uh, to provide the power supply to the unit. This is the temperature sensor. This is the temperature sensor we are going to use. This is the LED indicator and uh, along with the resistance and along with the diode for the charging of the battery from the solar panel. They are in series. Diode is in series with the resistance. Resistance is in series with the LED. These are the pelletry plates we are going to use. TAC 12706. These are some of the nuts we are going to use to uh, connect the belt plate along with the heat sink. This is the tape for the connections. This is the drill machine we are going to use. This is the thermocol chamber where we are going to create the cool environment. So we are going to use this fabric light. So these are the two tubes you have to mix with each other to stick the exhaust fan. Then check the plate which is positive side which is negative side. This is uh, cold side and this is uh, hot side. Apply the silicone paste on the uh, pelter plates so that you can effectively sandwich them between these heat sinks. We need a hole in one heat sink little bit bigger so that we can fix the uh, plastic spots. Now make both the Peltier plate in parallel plus to plus and minus to minus and then test them whether they are producing heat or cold or not. Now let me test whether they are producing heat or cold or not. So on the uh, smaller heat sink side there will be cold environment and on the bigger heat sink side there will be hotter environment. So heat and cold is generated properly I can feel through my hands. So we are using four CPU fan over here. Three to transfer heat in the environment and one uh, to transfer cold environment inside the chamber. Now mix uh, both of these two heavy light with each other so that they can create a very strong bond. While when we will uh, fix the CPU fan on the uh, heat sinks. Okay. Okay. 
now it's time for the fixing of these cpu fans on the heat sinks using this uh, bond three fan we are using for heat dissipation and one fan for the throwing cold environment inside the chamber so this single fan we are using on this smaller heat sink which will maintain the cold environment inside the chamber now you can see that all the cpu fans are properly fixed on the heat sinks using this glue now we are going to connect all the red wires with each other and all the black wires with each other so that there will be single point input for the pelletier plate power supply as well and for the cpu fans as well means by providing power supply at the single point it will be distributed in all the fans and the pelletier plates now you can see that we have connected all the red wires with each other and the black wires with each other so you just need to give 12 volt and ground and everything will be active all the fans and the pelletier plates let me just show you how see how all the fans are working you can see all the four fans are working along with the pelletier plates now it's time to cut the thermocol according to the side of the heat sink so we are going to mark with the help of the marker uh, the uh, the sections which we are going to cut with the cutter so this is the cutter we are going to use so after cutting this extra part we will fit the heat sink and the fans in this section so that it can provide cold environment inside the chamber So now we are going to fill okay. the glass wool. This glass wool is acting as a insulation. It won't provide uh, the heat uh, from the outer environment to go inside the chamber through these small holes. Now we will apply this insulation tape on the left area. So this insulation tape won't allow the heat from the outer environment to go inside through these small holes or it also won't allow the cold environment to lose to the outside environment. so this hole we are making for the temperature sensor so that we can fix the temperature sensor inside the chamber through this hole now it's time to fix the thermocol box on the wooden board using these double sided tapes we are using little bit silicone paste and the fabric so that we can fix the uh, this temperature sensor on the heat sink and the silicone paste we are using so that it can get the cold environment from the heat sink effectively so this is the temperature sensor this will display the temperature inside the chamber so now we are going to fix the battery using this double sided tape so the battery are in parallel so 2.5 ampere plus 2.5 ampere will create 5 ampere you can use bigger size battery as well like 7 ampere but here the combined capacity of both these two battery is uh, 5 ampere now we are going to connect the battery with the connections of this pelletier plate and the fans as you know that we have connected all of them together so now this time we are going to connect the battery Now this is on off toggle button with high power because the current capacity of the pelletier plate is very high so we are using high power toggle button for the on off so this uh, we have connected to the battery Now it's time to fix this uh, solar panel with the help of double sided tape on the top of this thermocol box So this small LED indication PCB we are using uh, for the charging of batteries with the help of solar panel So all the three components are in uh, series like the diode the resistor and the LED so positive of the solar panel will connect to the uh, positive of the diode and the negative uh, to the negative of the LED and along with the battery 
let me just fix this uh, solar led indication with the help of glue gun so right now you can see that it's glowing a little bit just because solar panel is getting some light from the environment this is on off toggle for the batteries let us fix this with the help of glue gun so now let me show you the working uh, these are the batteries. So this is the LED indicator. You can see that this LED indicator is glowing. This LED indicator is glowing because solar panel is getting the light. If I cover the solar panel, then you will see light intensity will decrease. So this indicator is for the charging because of solar panel. So this is the solar panel. This solar panel is producing energy and this indicator is showing that. Then the batteries are getting charged through the solar panel. And this is the on-off button for the complete project. This is temperature sensor and this is manual charging point. So these are the manual charging point to charge the battery. Uh, because solar panel is not having that much power, so that's why we have a manual charging point. So if you want to charge, you can charge through the solar panel. These are the manual charging points through inverter you can charge them. Now let me just own it. As soon as I will own it, then all the fans and the temperature will be active. Right now temperature you can see that 24 degrees Celsius temperature. Let me just own it. These fans are working. And inside fan is also working. If you look. Now you can see that. Inner fan is also working. Now temperature you can see start decreasing. Temperature becomes 23.8, then 20, 74 point. Temperature 23 degrees Celsius. Temperature 22.6 degrees Celsius. So as you can see that temperature is decreasing continuously. Because the pen are working, 22.1 degrees Celsius. And you can see that heat is getting dissipated through these fans. 21.7 degrees Celsius. Twenty-one point one degrees Celsius. In the chamber also, let me just show you. Now you can see that cold air is coming. As I can feel through my hand as well, cool air is coming. Now over here, twenty point three degrees Celsius. The temperature is decreasing continuously. Twenty point two degrees Celsius. So in this way, temperature will keep on decreasing as the power consumed by the particulates. So this is how this complete project is working. If I put my hand over here, then the plates are hot. You can see 20.1 degrees Celsius. So from uh, 24.0, it came to 20.1 degrees Celsius, then 20.0 degrees Celsius. So in this way, the temperature will keep on decreasing.